Today, I'll be showing you a sure way to get your phone back if it's been lost or stolen. Your Android phone, by the way. Very quickly, here are the equipment I used to make this video possible. The Canon T3i with the Tokina lens, Yeti Pro microphone, Acer Aspire R7 laptop, 32GB SD card, hmm, fast ride speed, the Samsung Galaxy Note 5, and the Samsung wireless fast charging stand. You can find the links to any of these items down in the video description below. Let's get started. Go into your Android device's setting by pulling down the notification tab and hitting the gear icon. Next, locate and tap the security tab. You'll see an option labeled Find My Phone. From there, it'll ask you to sign into your Samsung account. If you don't have one, then I recommend creating one ASAP. Rocky. Shit. Once signed in, you'll see three key features. Remote control allows you to control your device anywhere using your Google account. I will be talking more about that in the video. Google Location Service gives you a more accurate location, basically the exact address where your phone is located. And SIM card change, which does exactly what the name implies, it'll notify you via Gmail or Find My Phone that your SIM card has been replaced. Now let's use this scenario. You spark a conversation with a cute guy or girl at the service counter at your local Starbucks shit. Got so lost in the conversation that when it came time to leave, you forgot to grab your phone off the countertop. Five minutes goes by when you realize this, but by this time, it's long gone. I know this because a friend of mine actually stole your phone. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Don't panic, here's what you do. Locate a device with internet access on it or ask to use someone else's phone if possible. Next, open up an internet browsing app and type in Find My Phone. Click on the first option you see. It'll ask you to sign into your Samsung account. Now this is where the magic happens. Because you've enabled Google Location Service, you'll get an accurate pin of the exact location for your phone. Go over to the Lock My Phone in Samsung Pay option, click it. You'll be presented with this pop-up that reads, when you select Lock to protect your device, all features as shown below, including the Samsung Pay will be locked. It'll lock your phone with a pin if you don't have a password on your phone already. Lock Samsung Pay and lock power off. What I'm interested in is the third feature, hit lock. If you can act fast enough, you can actually prevent the thief from turning off the phone. Lock power off prevents the thief from being able to power off your device via the power button, giving you more than enough time to track it. The only downside to this feature is that the person who has your phone can easily remove your SIM card if clever, or if the phone has a removable battery, they can simply remove the battery to power it off that way. Yeah, that way. I take a turn on a segue. I don't even know what he'd be saying. It's all about how fast you can react to a situation at hand. By the way, not every thief thinks the way I do in terms of disabling the phone from being tracked, like removing the SIM card. But taking out the battery is a pretty common method to use. Take care guys, plan, analyze, execute. Anyways guys, Vinji D here from Get Fixed and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>